Part 1, Resistors in Series Connect in series the power supply and the three resistors. This is the series connections of 3 resistors, 10 ohms, 20 ohms, and 30 ohms. Using an ammeter, connect it in series with our power supply to measure the total current in our circuit. Record this as I total. Similarly, measure the currents in each resistors. Insert the ammeter in series with our R3 to measure current 3 or I3. Record this as I3. Measure also the current in our second resistor. Connect the ammeter in series with R2. Record this as current 2 or I2. Measure the current in our resistor 1. So connect it in series with resistor 1. Record this as I sub 1. Using the voltmeter, record the voltage across each resistor. The voltmeter must be connected in parallel to our resistors. For this case, the voltmeter is connected in parallel to R3. The scale used in our voltmeter is 10 volts. Record this as the potential difference for our resistor 3. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to resistor 2.
The chosen scale for this case is 3 volts. Record this as the potential difference in our resistor 2. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to resistor 1. The chosen scale for this case is 3 volts. Read this as the potential difference for resistor 1. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to the source of EMF to measure the total voltage in the series circuit. The chosen scale for this case is 10 volts. Record this as the V total in our series circuit. Part 2, Resistors in Parallel Connect 3 resistors in parallel to each other. the ammeter in series with R1 to measure current 1. Read and record this as I1. Connect the ammeter in series with R2 to measure current 2. Read and record this as I2. Connect the ammeter in series with R3 to measure current 3. Read and record this as I3. Connect the ammeter in series with the source of EMF to measure the total current in our circuit. Read and record this as I total.
connect the voltmeter in parallel to R1 to measure voltage 1. The voltmeter has a chosen scale of 10 volts. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to R2 to measure voltage 2. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to R3 to measure voltage 3. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to the source of EMF to measure the total voltage in the entire circuit. Part 3, resistors in series and parallel combination. Connect R1 in series to the source of EMF. Connect R2 and R3 in parallel to each other and the combination of resistor 2 and 3 is in series with R1. So again, R1 is in series with the parallel combinations of R2 and R3. Insert the ammeter in series to our R1 to measure current 1. Record this as I1. Connect the ammeter in series with R2 to measure I2. Read and record this as I2. Connect the ammeter in series with R3 to measure I3. Read and record this as I3. Connect the ammeter in series to the source of EMF to measure the total current in the circuit. Read and measure this as I total.
connect the voltmeter in parallel to R1 to measure voltage 1. The chosen scale for the voltmeter for this point is 3 volts. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to R2 to measure voltage 2. The chosen scale for our voltmeter is also 3 volts. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to R3 to measure voltage 3. Connect the voltmeter in parallel to the source of EMF to measure the total voltage across the circuit. The chosen scale for the voltmeter at this case is 10 volts. You may now complete your group laboratory report.